Deborah Volstead, Scenario for Day 2, Interpreting at the Doctor's Office. I chose B because interpreters serve as a means of communication and have an ethical obligation to maintain transparency. Interpreters should be very clear, especially with patients, that their role is to interpret everything that is said. Interpreters have to provide accurate information while in the presence of the provider. If there is anything that the patient does not want to have known, then the patient should not say it. Since the information the patient shared with the interpreter is important to the patient's well-being and others, as the interpreter I have an ethical obligation to make a conscious choice that supports the well-being of the patient. In this case, however, I think as the interpreter I would have first encouraged the patient to share the information with the provider and if the patient refused to do so, only then would I share the information with the provider. Such sharing of information by the interpreter is not considered a violation of the principle of confidentiality. The patient needs to be referred to a psychologist, and the only person who has authority to do this is the physical therapist who is treating the patient. The National Code of Ethics for Interpreters in Healthcare No. 1 says, the interpreter treats as confidential within the treating team all information learned in the performance of their professional duties while observing relevant requirements regarding disclosure. Mm -hmm. Healthcare interpreters must team up with the parties involved to ensure transparency in communication, not for the accuracy of the record like court interpreters, but for the patient's well-being. The impression an interpreter makes will also form a patient's view of the healthcare system. Question number two. I chose C because the interpreter's ethical obligation is to make appropriate decisions in order to maintain the privacy of the patient. Interpreters are bound by the principle of confidentiality not to discuss what they may have learned about the patient while in the clinical encounter with members in the community or even with family members unless given explicit permission to do so by the patient. Interpreters are responsible for disclosing any potential conflict of interest or a perceived conflict of interest. Federal Code Canon Number 3 says, Interpreters shall disclose any real or perceived conflict of interest, including any prior involvement with the case, parties, witnesses, or attorneys, and shall not serve in any manner in which they have a conflict of interest. The Code of Ethics for Interpreters in Health Care, Canon Number 4 says, the interpreter maintains the boundaries of the profession role, refraining from personal involvement. The intent of this principle is to provide transparency in the service that has been provided and to avoid potential conflicts of interest.